How there, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Morris, also known as Uncle Morris, also known as, as Morris Kairos. And I'm, nonetheless, welcome to this video. If you're wondering how to VP farm, well, worry, well, wonder no further. This video is going to teach you that exactly. In this example, this is going to be using an Android emulator on your computer. Now, if you're planning on doing uh, VP farming on your phone at this point in time I don't really have a very clear or, or simple way to go about it but trust me when that solution comes up I'll be sure to share it in my next video but for now BlueStacks has a very effective way of doing so so without further ado let's look into that right now so at the right uh, bar over here right toolbar if you will because sometimes when you open up blue, blue stacks it's gonna appear like that you want to click on the double arrow on the top right corner and then click on macro recorder once you click on that now in this case i already have the macro uh installed but in but in your case you might open up this window instead it's gonna say or it's gonna read as the blue stacks rec macro recorder it's a tongue twister tongue twister like that bluestacks macro recorder there we go so with that said likely you will have nothing here so just to uh, show you that I'm just gonna delete this All right so so when, uh, when you click on that it's gonna show that there's nothing you want to click on open community it's gonna open up a window like so and then from the top type in while well, it's still loading type in Vanguard zero so as to filter out the game that you want to look for one more time vanguard zero go in and this is the least list of various macros that's been submitted by the community uh players uh in blue stacks that is for purposes of macro now the one i'm using is uh called the vp farmer version 2.4.1 and it's done pretty good for my purposes i believe it should do to you too the number of downloads should be a very good clear indicator with that and it's created by the player of uh, by the user by the name of ketsu ketsu getsu all right please give him uh, credit for it it is not by me it is by ketsu getsu but i'm sh spreading the word out that he's done amazing work with the vp farmer version 2.4.1 he is now trying out with a beta version don't do that yet as he mentioned is trying to deal with another issue but for now this is what I'm using. There are other macros too, created by say uh, since day one ish, as well as Kthox. But nonetheless, your your uh, your mileage may vary. Now in this case, I just click on Get, Continue, and it will already immediately appear right there. Uh, one more tip that I like to share is that whenever you want to get any macros, be sure to go and read up on the descriptions. So usually, these these descriptions would teach you how to do it. In this case. It says enter battle with selected deck, in which case you should already have prepared, uh, prepared a VP farming deck, which I will show you uh, show it to you in a bit later. Then you need to change the view of the play area to full. Now, sometimes when you play, the camera switches, right? Like zoom in, zoom out, and all that stuff. You need to change that to full screen, which I will also demonstrate that in the in a bit as well. Once that has been uh, you know performed, these two points, then you run the macro. Uh, this macro, at the very least, this version itself will allow it so that once it is done with a battle, it will go into retry again and then continue on unless something else happens, uh, like for example, disconnections and some and stuff like that. These things can happen, which means you do need to check back to your game from time to time. Now, that said, we need to look into the. Uh, VP farming deck, a deck that's made specifically for VP farming, in which case I already have one example right here. It doesn't really matter which clan you go for, but there are some points that you want to take note of. This VP farming topic has already been like described and, 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 and explained to death in several other YouTube videos, but I'm just going to describe it, uh, explain to you again what are the points you want to know for. First off, your uh, first Vanguard should always be one that has the least amount of health to make it a bit easier for any other players that might want to farming uh to to farm you or rather to farm me in this case because i'm farming vps the and the other opponent wants to win and then every other unit is supposed to fill to be filled with elementals like so from grade one all the way to grade three just fill all with elementals in this case grade one 
I go over here and just put every element as it is filling up to 13 copies of it. As for trigger, you want to you, you can put anything else except heals you want because you want to make the process as quickly as possible for yourself as well as your opponent you want to make each farming process within matter of minutes not like not exceeding like you know six to to, to, to ten minutes or even longer so that's why heals will only pro just prolong the entire process you want to avoid that once that confirm it make sure that you know everything's up and ready all dandy save that deck Fantastic, because my deck was already done. Now I'm going to click on VP farming, in which case I call it VP farming, uh, and then fight. However, there is one more thing that would be nice of you to actually work on to give a quick heads up to your other uh, opponents, which is to go to your profile, right? And then right here at the description over here, you might want to change that to something else to let players know that you are VP farming. You mean them no harm so that they can at least be willing to like just put every single card they have to try to speed up the process so in this case i'm gonna write it as bp farming for love <laughs> oops windows wants me to restart i'll do that in a bit later so now that's bp farming for love i'll click on the okay so now anyone that's gonna fight against me uh, we'll have that we'll see that message and that is the message you want telling that I'm a VP farmer I'm harmless go ahead and win against me both of us will benefit they will be able to climb up the ranks I will be able to earn some VP so now to see the macro in action click on VP farming or at least in my case I call this that VP farming you can call it whatever you want as long as you know exactly what it is and click on fight now in this case it's gonna look for an opponent and I want start and prepare to click or rather to activate my macro you can create a shortcut absolutely put any ladder that you want in this case i'm just going to click on play as soon as this starts oh this person's gave up he's also vp farming as well but let me just show it to you i'm going to click on start and and you're going to see that it's going to start tapping away i'm not doing anything but eventually the button is going to click on the okay and there's a process however you need to remember that the camera you need to do that so as to further maximize the macro farming effect. So make sure that it is at, uh, you know, maximum screen, maximum zoom up screen. Uh, and if there is one thing that you can also try, you can also try to turn off the, any extra special effects because those do take up some seconds, you know, to play like animation and whatsoever. And it seems that my opponent might also be VP farming is what well, it seems to be the case. Now in now in my example, this is this is this is one of those examples where your opponent might be VP farming too, and this could take on for some time. Uh which is also why if you happen to notice this, you could just let it run, but this could drag on for a bit. So instead I'll just take the time uh, take this chance right now to just like play normally and just try to save time for everyone. And so with that said, I'm gonna skip right past to another match that has an actual VP farming going on and then you will see how it works with the other player. Hey there folks, welcome back. Now this is now an actual battle with another player that is seriously wanting to, uh, wanting to win and as soon as the other player knows that I am in fact farming, he just went all out. He just put almost every great one that he had to just try to just end the match as quickly as possible. But some players might still be cautious because there are other players out there that uh, pretend to be VP farming. And, you know, these players do exist and it's not very nice of them. Still, uh, if you're planning on actually VP farming, make sure that your that your profile message does state that. And if not, you might want to change it away so as to avoid confusion to the other enemy. And if you are not VP farming, you're planning on ranking. If you do see a fellow uh, another player that claims to be VP farming, do be careful. Sometimes, just in the first round, in, in, in your first move. Play normally, play cautiously to see if the other player is, is, is in fact a VP farmer. So now, as you can see, I'm not doing anything. The macro is doing its magic, you know, running as per normal. And it's just going to keep, keep tapping away and all that stuff. So we're going to just let it run through the whole process so that you can see 
eventually how it then goes to the result screen and then leading on to the next match. All right, and there we have it. The match has been concluded. The tapping is still gonna go on and eventually it's gonna tap on the retry button it's gonna click on okay as you can see about to happen and then retry so if the macro runs fine as long as your uh next match doesn't disconnect you know internet connect uh like you know the game disconnects or something like that sometimes it does happen uh the macro should still be doing its actual job and you should be able to uh you know vp farm without much of a diff uh, much of a problem but still from time to time do check to make sure that your vp farming is going on without a hitch without any particular problem sometimes you need may need to restart the whole process again from start and then rerun the macro from the beginning so this is basically how you do vp farming you can do it manually absolutely but the, but the idea of the macro is just so that if you're just doing this you know on site you can maximize your time by doing something else so with that said i hope that this particular video has been helpful um you know to you and your friends if you want just go ahead and share with everyone if you like it give give this video a thumbs up <laughs> subscribe to my video i never done this before <laughs> but yeah if you if you like this content by all means go ahead show me the support show me some love i also stream quite frequently on uh twitch as well as on youtube uh, simultaneously uh and uh, carpet vanguard on uh, carpet vanguard zero is definitely going to be one of the very uh frequent content that i will be streaming a lot and on a regular basis too so if you guys like it please give me some support i would love to entertain you guys i would love to get to know you guys make make some friends and all that and love to grow and together climb the ranking ladder with you guys as well so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time ciao